Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Mattel Epic Creations Batman 66 Utility Belt. That's right, the 1966 Adam West Batman merchandise is coming out in full force. And if you have ever wanted your very own utility belt, you now have the option to own one and wear one. So let's check this thing out. As you can see, the belt comes in a really nice long box packaging that's got some very bright colors on the front featuring the purple cityscape and the bat signal up in the sky, very similar to what we've seen on all of Mattel's Batman 66 action figures. It has a really nice fold open flap on the front, then when you fold it completely open, it reveals the utility belt and the batarang that's included housed right there on the inside. The right hand flap over here gives you a nice cartoonic image of Batman and Robin straight out of the opening of the TV series. And over on the left hand side, we get an image of Adam West in full Batman attire. What I really like about this box is that it gives you a way to properly display both the utility belt and the Batarang up on your shelf when you're not wearing it around your neighborhood fighting crime, of course. The only minor complaint I think I have about this is that the packaging is a little too dark behind the utility belt and the Batarang. That black color kind of blends in with the Batarang, so you can't see it as well as I would hope that you'd be able to. But otherwise, I love the packaging here. It's a great way to display this thing when you're not gonna wear it. But we wanna pull this thing out and get a closer look at it and actually put it on, right? So let's do that. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the Bat Utility Belt outside of the box. It is a very nice and bright yellow color, so it's nice and vibrant and exactly the way the belt looked in the TV series. It's made of a soft vinyl or a pleather-like material. I don't think it's real leather. Definitely feels more like a pleather material, but it still feels very nice. And the best part is definitely the golden buckle right there on the front. It's made of a nice heavy material, and you can see it's got a great golden shine with a little bat insignia etched right there on the front. So it's certainly the highlight and the focal point of this particular piece. Now all along there, you'll see that there are a couple pouches as well as a few tubes where Batman would keep all of his crazy different devices and weapons and spare suits and all that stuff. And you'll notice that it's got the little latches underneath the pouches. This is accurate for the 66 version of Batman. One thing that's fun is you can unsnap those. They're just little snaps, so you can pull the little straps down there, and then you can fold open the pouches, so you could, in theory, put some things on the inside. Now, they're very thin. There's not a lot of room to stuff anything on the inside there, so don't expect to actually fit any spare bat suits or anything like that on the inside. There really isn't a whole lot of room to put anything in there. Same with the tubes. The plastic tubes on here do have opening caps that just fold open, but if you look on the inside, they are very thin. So there's not a whole lot of stuff that you could actually squeeze on the inside of these tubes, unfortunately. Now, the fun thing about this belt is that it is designed to be worn by adult collectors. It's meant to be a 42 inch belt. So as long as you're within the parameters, you should be able to wear this. It's got nice golden hooks on one end. And you'll notice that there are several little golden rungs that you'll be able to hook those through. So let me go ahead and put this on here so I can show you how it looks. All right, I'm ready to go fight some crime. That utility belt fits pretty good, but one thing I need to point out, if you take a look at it on me, you'll notice I'm on the next to last rungs on the belt. It's a 42 inch belt. I know I'm not the thinnest guy in the world, but I'm also not the biggest guy in the world, and I'm already almost too big for this belt. So that's something you definitely probably want to keep in mind if you're planning to purchase this and wear it. If you're much bigger than me, it's probably not going to fit you, which is a bit of a shame since this is billed towards adult collectors. All right, now in addition to the utility belt, you also get a cool Batarang accessory. It's neat because it's got the ability to fold up, so you can see it kind of clips into place when you fold it open there. And it's a very lightweight plastic. That's one thing I really noticed about this is it's very, very, very light. It's, I wouldn't go as far as to say it's cheap feeling, but it's a lot lighter than I was expecting it to be. And it is a little wobbly as well because of the folding feature there. But it is kind of neat that you've got the ability to fold it up and it's kind of neat how you can flip it out and get ready to throw the Batarang to catch the Riddler, or the Joker, or anybody like that. One thing that I want to point out about this, on the sell sheet on Maddie Collector for the Batarang and this utility belt, it does note that this folds up so that you can store it in the pouches on the belt. I'm here to tell you that does not work. You'll notice that 
standard physics will tell you that this belt cannot actually fit inside of that pouch because of how much bigger it is. But even if we fold this open and pull open the little pouch, you can see that it doesn't really fit inside. That's as far as it's gonna go. So if you're planning to carry around the Batarang on the belt, it's not gonna actually fit inside the pouches. And in fact, the best you're gonna be able to do is kind of tuck it into the belt and you know, then you can pull it out and get ready to fight some crime. But that's really the best you're gonna get out of it is tucking it into the belt there. So there you go guys, that's basically everything you need to know about the Batman 66 utility belts. It's got a really nice display box, which I think is one of the best things about this because it allows you to be able to display it on your shelf with your collection if you don't plan on wearing it. Especially since it's a little bit smaller than I was expecting it to be and it's probably not gonna fit a lot of adult collectors out there. The other thing is this will retail for $125, which is a little bit on the pricey side for this particular type of prop replica. So it's one of those things where if you're a big fan of the Adam West Batman series, this might be something fun to add to your collection. But if it's just something where you're a Batman fan and you want something fun to pick up, definitely make sure this is something you want before dropping the cash. This will be available on MattyCollector.com on Monday. So happy hunting and until next time.